Hello everyone, welcome to Pokemon Pinball. Uh, if you remember, I actually recorded some of this back in the day for the Pokemosh Pit Beta. Beta, Beta, you know what they say. And, um, I don't know, I just felt like playing more for some reason. So, what we're doing today, I guess, we're playing Pokemon Pinball. Um, a <laughs> great game! Fantastic game! A uh, game which holds a lot of memories for me. And, um, I don't know, I guess I'll just kind of chat as we play here. Because it's not really uh, a commentary intensive game, as you can probably tell by the fact that it's fucking pinball, so <laughs> you're not really going to be uh, any anything too detailed here. I, I guess I can explain the base mechanics and how it works. It's like any, any other pinball game, apart from not really, because you can catch Pokemon in it. As you can see here, you have to hit Psyduck on the head and you'll catch him. Oh, there we go, that was easy. <coughs> Coughing a bit still here. Hopefully we'll catch a coughing, and then we can evolve it into a wheezing. Ah, da, da, da. Same joke that I use every time, hey? What do you expect? But yeah, this is a chill game. It's pretty awesome. Um, I didn't really get to explain how I got the side arc there, but essentially you, you get a picture of a Pokemon that's all blurred out, and if you want to unblur the picture of the Pokemon, you have to hit the shelters at the top. The shelters will then unmask the Pokemon. Once the Pokemon is unmasked, you then hit it like four times and you catch it. And then Pikachu there, who's going to use the Rumble facility to throw the ball back up. Oh shit, hurry up. I better hurry up. So, uh, this was a very unique Game Boy game in the fact that it was a really large cartridge. Like, the cartridge was fucking huge. Uh, and the main reason for that is that the cartridge included a Rumble pa Oh shit, that's um, that's some MLG right there. I'll tell you what. So the cartridge was massive. Fuck. God. Oh, damn it. Had uh, a, a, ru <coughs> a rumble pack built into it. A shit you not. And so when like Pikachu buzzed your ball back on, it would like rumble the Game Boy Color, and you'd be like, oh man, it's like a real pinball thing, even though not really. Um, but yeah, there's only two courses in the game. There's the red course and the blue course. I'm playing blue because blue was always the easier one. Or at least, that's what I found when I was younger, that blue was always the easiest one. And there's also a lot of bit of uh, fun to this game in guessing which Pokemon you have there. I'm guessing that's a Voltorb. Must be Voltorb. Has to be. But we're not going to find out until we unveil with hitting shelters a couple of times. Oh, there we go. That is Voltorb. Obviously. I mean, duh, guys. I mean, obviously. Jeez. Totally Voltorb. Duh. So let's try and catch him here. We've got to hit the fucking shelters. I know Psyduck was easy enough. It kind of let me do that. See, we've got six times, I guess, because he's got six different... Oh, there we go. Beautiful. I've got to wait for him to transform into the actual Voltorb here. Oh, jeez. These animated sprite-type things are kind of cool. Oh, wow. That's when you get lucky, is when the Pokeball kind of just, like, slowly falls on top of it and ends up hitting it multiple times in a row and catching the Pokemon for you. That's always nice. I always like that. So, this game revolves around the blue and red Pokemon, and I guess yellow as well, because it was created around that time, I believe. I probably got blue version when 99, and I got Pokemon Pinball shortly after that, probably in 2000, because 2001 I went to America, and 2001 is when I got gold and silver in April of 2001. I'll remember that pretty distinctively. Uh, also, you can upgrade your ball, so I'm, I'm now a great ball. If you hit those three lights, there's three lights on top of the shell then. If you hit all three lights, oh god, you upgrade your ball, but you lose your ball if you do something stupid like that, which is exactly what I just did. Uh, lost my, my great ball. My great ball has been lost. How unfortunate indeed. Oh dear. So, oh my, really? Okay, at least I got saved there. Jeez, that was, that was a bit of a mess. But I did get this game probably, I guess, 2000. I believe it was for Christmas. My dad bought it for me. Now, the funny thing about this is that this is the only video game, like, I have ever owned where my dad played this more than I did. The reason is he's like a pinball fanatic. Uh, he used to play, like, pinball and stuff all the time. So, basically, he would... The only time he would ever want to play the Game Boy was when pinball was there. So that's what he did, and he, uh, yeah, he was pretty good. 
I'm not going to lie, uh, he knew what he was doing with the pinballs, and he managed to get some ridiculous scores, I might say. Uh, we've got a Machop here, probably. Looks like a Machop. But I think the leaderboard on this, the original leaderboard, the top score is like something like 500 million. Um, on the blue table, my dad would hit scores of <laughs> 5 to 6 billion. Like, and th that was like him sitting there playing for like an hour and a half, two hours straight. Seriously, five billion. Like, how do you even, how do you even do stuff like that? But apparently, he was good enough to do it. So, there you go. Um, geez, let's get. Oh, we'll be careful around this machop. All right, <coughs> we actually managed to catch three Pokemon today. That's pretty good. Good stuff. I'm impressed with myself. Nice little jackpot there. So my score at 50 million right now. So as you can see, oh, bonus stage, Meowth, yeah, that's the one you want. That's the one you want to get. Because you basically game the system after a while. This Meowth bonus stage is one of the best bonus stages. You get a crap ton of points if you're lucky. Managed to get him to a corner like I did there. Uh, then you are in for point heaven, as it were. So there's like multiple bonus stages, and then like the final bonus stage is Mewtwo. And, um... My dad always had a tactic with Mewtwo, is that if you, fuck, if you beat Mewtwo stage, then you'd have to start again, and what the hell happened there? That was glitchy as hell. If you beat Mewtwo stage, you'd have to start again at, like, Meowth stage, the next time you got a bonus. So he would deliberately lose at Mewtwo stage, but get as many points as he could up to that point. So that the next time he got the bonus stage unlocked, he'd go straight back to Mewtwo stage again, get more points. He was gaming the system. It was pretty smart, I thought. And that's how he got his, like, massive scores. I, however, never managed to... Oh, there you go. That's what you want. You want something like that. You want that. And then you get, like, all these at once. Oh, bonus triple, bonus quadruple, bonuses. And you see, I'm already up to 72 million, having just pissed around a little bit here. Oh, no. That's the end. You get a timed amount of time. A timed amount of time. Wow, we are really on fire here today with the English Z. Of course. All right, get in the slot. Get in the slot. Oh. <coughs> that... Uh, is what she said. <coughs> so we got a 30 second ball saver. Basically means <coughs> if the ball goes down the hole, the next 30 seconds, it gets saved. Yeah, look at that. <coughs> Beautiful. Beautiful indeed. But, you know, as simple as this game looks, and admittedly it is very simple, there's lots of little nuances to it. Like every single thing that you hit, the Psyduck head at the side, the polywag at the other side, the button there, the arrows you have going up in each direction. Pinball is deceptively complex. Or should I say deceptively simple? I say deceptively... It's just deceptive. It's, it just is. Pinball is a very deceptive game. On the face of it, it's like, oh, all you do is just kind of just like freaking plinkety, plinkety plonk on a table. But really, you get into the meat of it. The real me. Oh, wow. Is that game over already? Well, uh... Hey, you know what? Let's just try and do a bit of a red table. Why not? Let's, uh... Oops. Oh, God. Do I have to do... There we go. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Alright, yeah. So, I, I changed up the controls on this because... As you can imagine, a mouse and keyboard... The arrow keys... And, like, the main buttons are reversed... To what a Game Boy has, so there comes a problem when that happens because you're trying to play Pokemon Pinball and the the paddles are reversed. I'm not sure if you understand what I'm saying, but essentially the D-pad on a Game Boy is on the left, but the the arrow keys on a keyboard are on the right. So basically, I was playing originally with the A button on the left and the arrow keys on the right which made the paddles backwards because the way that I've always played this game was using the A button as the right paddle and the left key, the left D-pad as the left button but of course that causes problems when you change it over to a keyboard setup because it is in fact backwards so I basically had to change up my setup I changed the left key to C on the keyboard and the A button to M so that I can just play it like a normal pinball thing, essentially. That's what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, there we go. I think I explained Pokemon Pinball relatively well here. As well as one can explain Pokemon Pinball. Jeez, am I really going to lose the ball that <coughs> that quickly? That's kind of lame. 
So I the red table, as I say, is I don't know. It was always viewed as the more difficult of the two tables, just because it's it has a a more I don't know finickety finickety. That's not a word. Uh, more uh, difficult to navigate. I guess it's more difficult to navigate. The, the vault orbs are in a bit of an awkward place, as opposed to the shelters, which are a bit more directly upwards. You kind of got the central band you go up, whereas here you have that little area which you can go like that. So you can just pass right by the vault orbs. Whereas in the blue table, you can kind of go straight up to the shelters, and it's all happy and dandy. But um, not quite the same case here. All right, let's see if we can get this man key. Get this man key, and then oh, Joe. Uh, uh. Jeez, go on. All right. Oh, oh, it's bouncing around. We're bouncing. Pikachu saving my ass here. God damn. All right, go on, go on, go on. Oh, come on, P oh, Pikachu! Pikachu! Why? Ending my ball bonus. You son of a bitch. Well, uh, I'm probably going to end this because I don't want to make this too long. Um, I'm not sure if people want to see more of it. I guess I'll probably do this as a Friday thing or whenever I feel like uploading it. Pokemon Pimple's fun and kind of gives me a chance to just talk as opposed to concentrating too much on anything else, which is which is nice at some points. You want to be able to do that. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time in another video. For now, that's it. We're done. Uh, goodbye.